Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be checking out the latest announcement from developers as of today. They've gone and just released a whole bunch of information of all the changes that we've received over the last couple of days. But before we get started, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget that like and subscribe button and ring the little bell icon to be notified about upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And while you're watching this video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in future videos. So I said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So it's been over a week now since we got released with version one and we saw version one bringing a lot of new cool features here in Stormworks with the new low modding for missions to spreadable fires on our vehicles to the first person equipment, new missions, tutorials, audio effects, and much more. Now that was all released on September 17th and actually quite a lot of things have changed since then now devs obviously have been really hard at work i know they have been working through the weekend and also throughout this whole week trying to make some changes and fixes to some of the things we saw here in experimental and also in the full fat version one release of stormworks now the biggest complaint that we saw and we've obviously done a lot of coverage on this already was the disappearance of classic career mode and the actual progression and research tree and we got it on september 20th that devs gone and added the classic career back here in stormix we saw the return of the research tree and also a couple other features in career classic mode that we have here in game now of course we do have the three modes we can have clear classic uh, we also have our normal career mode and we even have the normal custom mode that we are accustomed to we also saw that on September the 21st, we got the test location or test mission button back in game. A lot of players were complaining that they had to use Lua now to actually start spawning in missions, especially just vehicles they wanted to test because there was too big to spawn in any of the dock or any of the hangar areas. So it's nice to have added this back in and we also saw that they added this back into the uh, actual environmental mods too. So there's two different ways of spawning these in. Now, of course, if you want to go anything more than that, if you want to actually run it right a mission, you are going to have to use the new editor. So that is fair, to be honest. Uh, obviously, it means that players do need to learn a little bit more in terms of spawning uh, things back in. But it's nice that we can quickly just spawn a mission in using it. And actually, it's, it's quicker than what it used to be, funny enough. Uh, it used to be that you actually had to set an objective up. Uh, you could do like no objective and then include the vehicles in there. Now, you literally just place your vehicles, click on test button, and it goes and spawns and everything in but you can only spawn one location at a time. If you want to spawn more than that, you're going to have to use the Lua mission editor now to actually spawn that in. So that's the positives and negatives with that. Uh, along with that, the devs on September the 22nd also went and just said that you can now go and bring normal mode back by selecting infinite electric, infinite fuel, and then deselecting overheating engines. That way you would have a complete realistic normal mode here in Stormworks so you didn't have to use pipes and get all the advanced things on your vehicles. And then the most recent thing, which is going Going to be the rework of the new ropes, hoses, and cables here in Stormworks. The dev said they have gone and made this uh, twice as long to start with, also easier to handle, and just generally work much better. Now, what I think prompted them to go and actually change and modify how the actual ropes work is that we saw in a lot of situations, especially over at the starter island, is that the hose wasn't long enough to get from point A being the fuel tank to your vehicle. It just wasn't long enough. And the thing is that these actually only start winching out. So if you connect an actual hose up to a winch, for example, it actually only starts winching out once you've connected it to your creation. So for example, if we could only get up to, let's say this point, I had no way of connecting it here. There would literally be no way unless I moved my vehicle closer. So it's nice to have gone and extended. You can see it actually is quite long now. We can pretty much get to any point we want to in any of the build areas. So this is much more useful. So for example, on this plane here, I can actually get to the other side where I can go and connect it over there. You can obviously see once it's connected, we can then of course go and winch it out here and start setting it even further out and so on and so forth, or we can winch it in. But it's much nicer that this has gone and get much longer. And apparently, obviously, it's a little bit more easier to use. Uh, it works a little bit more simpler. It doesn't obviously give you that much resistance when pulling. That's something I also did see is that when you're pulling it, you kind of got a little bit of resistance 
pulling the hose but it looks like it is working quite nice and smoothly now uh, obviously you still can't use any fuel to you can't spray any fuel out of here the only thing that sprays out is water um so it is nice that they've gone and updated this and there's just a few more things that's in, that's the highlights of what they've gone and fixed uh in the last what eight days now here in stormworks but in terms of that the devs that they are very hard at work obviously working on more features coming here in stormworks they have said they are going to reshift back their focus onto the experimental branch and onto the module engines at the moment in the last couple of days they have been focusing on fixing these issues and obviously getting these features right in terms of what the players have been asking for but they are going to be focusing back on the module engine so we should start to see in the next week or two uh some more updates to the module engines maybe some more balancing maybe some more features and components to add on to those module engines so i think the community is going to be really happy with that they also have said that they're going to be kind of changing the release process for these updates now what's going to be happening is the dev said obviously they're going to be doing a lot of testing on their end before it ever goes anywhere uh, and once they are ready to go and test out these new features or fixes or so on and so forth it's then going to get pushed over to experimental we can then go and test it out for i'm guessing around about a week uh, maybe less maybe more i'm not too sure and then once it's all sorted and it's all been properly tested out on experimental then it will go over to stable branch at the moment how it's been working is it's pretty much devs have been and pretty much doing a little testing uh, they've obviously gone and added these new features and it's gone straight into public branch so it kind of now we've got kind of this middleman which is going to be experimental so we're going to be able to find these bugs much quicker and it means that the people playing on, on stable branch whether it's their career modes or they're doing custom building they are not going to get bothered by any of these new updates that are coming out and they know that once it does come to public branch it is going to work completely as it should there's not going to be any bug it bugs inside there so it's really good that they've kind of redesigned this whole method uh, method out of releasing these updates so i'm quite excited to see how this is going to work uh, and obviously i think it's going to be much more in a positive light in terms of getting these updates in the future uh, and i think it's going to be really quite fun so i think that's pretty much about it for the announcement that we got this week from the developers obviously i'm happy to see they've been working on these issues and fixing it obviously i'm happy to see they're going back to the experimental branch and obviously working on the module engines and we're going to see some little bit of updates coming with that uh, they have said of course that we are going to be expecting many more things coming in stormworks development is not over and there are going to be much more features and many cool things still coming here in stormworks which will be a nice thing to see but i think that's a great place to end this video off with i hope you have enjoyed this and found some entertaining and informative as always and i would love to hear your comments in the video description below and we'll see you in the next one